Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Love, Money, Rock and Roll, episode two. So, yeah. Turn this up. Okay. So, last time we left off with this weird girl. I have no clue who she is, and she looks very weird. So, let's continue. This was Himitsu. I seem to have known her my whole life. You seem to. How do you not know if you've known someone your whole life? Okay, I'm not going to question it. I seemed to have known her my whole life, or at least since my parents and I moved to Japan. Her mother was Russian, although... Okay, I'm sorry. My allergies are bad today, so... Just so you know, my voice sounds very stuffy and weird. That's why. Her mother was Russian, although she divorced Himitsu, Himitsu's father when we were still children. Okay. Oh, that kind of scared me. Okay, now she looks cute. She didn't before because her mouth was all weird. But now she looks cute. Just saying. Okay, enough look. Lounging around. Time to get up, wash up, eat breakfast, and go to school. Okay, you're not my mom. Wait, why? Why is my door open? Was it open before? Okay, let's hope my door wasn't open in the middle of the time. (laughs) That would not be... That would not... That would not be safe at all. This is how most of my days started. Okay. This is how most of my days start. Oh, I already read that. Though, after so many years, I had... I had become accustomed to it. Okay. Incidentally, I've forgotten to introduce myself. No, no, I still can't read correctly. I'm sorry. Nico kun. So his name is Nikolai, I think. He meets his voice carried. Through the entire house, and it no longer felt quite so empty and lonely. I quickly got washed and dressed, then came into the kitchen. Okay, so we went in the kitchen. Hopefully you don't make a million poems this time about... Oh. Wow, that scared me. The house was was too big for one person. In fact, it was probably designed for a multi-generation family. Grandparents, parents, children, grandchildren. Well, at least you have a huge house, I'm just saying. I mean, at least you have some space, you know. The empty space felt oppressive even when my parents were still with me. Turn this down a bit now. Now it just feels like a museum or a library. Who in their right mind would want to live here, live there, especially by themselves? I don't know. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> She's kind of cute now. She reminds me of someone. I can't... I don't know who. Bon Appetit! She's kind of cute, though. Same to you. An omelette and several kinds of salads were gracing the table. I picked up a piece of cucumber with my chopsticks and was lazily shifting it around the plate. Aw, she's cute. I kind of like her now. Not hungry? Mm. I am, but I can't live off of grass like a rabbit. It's not grass. Cucumber isn't grass. Isn't it like a vegetable? It's not grass. I don't know. This dude's weird. He me too frowned. So, is instant ramen better for your book? In your book? I don't know about better, but it's certainly tasty. Tasting. Better tasting. Hey! It kind of reminds me of Maya. She puffed out her cheeks comically, which made her look like a cute hamster. I put work into it, you know. K.O. Rip. I could say nothing to counter that, so I concentrated on chewing. What are you planning to do after school? Uh, I don't know. Kyusuke? 
I wanted to go to the movies, I think. Were you su going to suggest something? She set aside her chopsticks and looked at me intently like she was going to say something important. Maybe. Stop being a and talk to me. Then she started laughing, trying to hide her embarrassment. Never mind, it's not important. He meets who was in love with me. What? What? Where did that come from? She's like, ha ha. She, oh, she's just in love with me. It's nothing. Serious? I had known this for a long time, but did nothing about it. That's mean. At some point, I grown grown so accustomed to it. To it that is no long that I no longer knew if she loved me as a brother or as a man. I, I don't know. Anyway, to be perfectly honest, I didn't care one way or another. If you want to go somewhere, you can reschedule the movie. It can do without me tonight. Her face gleamed with an earnest smile. Well, actually, I want to check this one store near the station. It just opened. The girls at the, at school won't stop talking about it. So you're dragging me into this? Really? Someone else in my spot might have considered this a date. But I simply enjoyed spending time with Himitsu. She, is, she too seemed content with this arrangement. You haven't finished your breakfast. Nor did I plan to. I might yet have to eat this grass for lunch as well. Well, that's rude. Rude! Whatever your name was again. Nico? Nicola? I don't know. I don't know. Why don't you ever make a whatever that is or dumplings or something? I cannot speak. That isn't breakfast. Besides... I made it before. So, make it again, I guess. He meets who looks took offense. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't like eating grass. But this isn't even grass. So, like, what? She had made it before, true, but not the same as I remembered from my childhood. I was not about to tell her that. It's one thing not to know how to do something. One can always learn. It's quite... It's quite another to both know and do, yet fail to meet expectations. You making another poem? Seriously? <laughs> Whatever. When it when that's the case, there is a good chance that one will never learn. And also, I need to write about my story in the cherry blossoms. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. You're, I don't know how to say that. It's very good. Yeah. I repeated. Himitsu was glaring at me. Anyone else in our place would have would have long since emptied this bull imaginary whatever that's called. I can't speak. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna mess it up. So what's the store you were talking about? They sell clothes. And that's it. <laughs> she kept fixing me with her uh, stare. Dresses, sweaters, skirts, clothing, women's clothing. Do you think maybe you should go with one of your girlfriends then? I'm not saying no. It might just be a little bit awkward. So? <laughs> Why? I don't know. Just the way things are here. And, you know, I'm not always great with the local customs. I was telling the truth. Anyone else would have, would have long since got used to the Japanese way of life, to Japanese traditions and culture norms, or at least the way of local high schoolers. That's not one. That's, no one's gonna think anything. It's not like we're dating or anything. I'm such, I'm such an embarrassment. He needs to is now completely flustered, which is making her upset. I'm sorry, uh, let's just go to school. We're probably, like, 50 minutes late. Let's go. Himitsu was now completely flustered, which was making her upset. I couldn't tell if she was more upset with me or herself. Uh, probably both. Sometimes when I talk to Himitsu, 
and not only her, I would hit a dead end. I no longer knew what was expected of me, while the other person couldn't understand why I didn't get it. In the end, the entire meaning of the conversation would end up buried under an avalanche of misunderstanding, which snowballed with every new remark. Enough with your poems, let's get to school! Jesus. At such times, it was better to agree than to remain silent. I don't know. Alright, alright, it's fine. Nobody's gonna think anything. Why would they? Exactly! Said he me to triumphantly and went to go wash the dishes. Oops. My bad. Okay. What was this kind of weather? Early in fall, cold in Russia, grandmother's, a uh, grandma's summer? I don't know, maybe you lived in Russia? I don't, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. In Japan, at any rate, it was still very hot at the beginning of s September. Oh, she's cute. I'm just saying. Himiko, not Himiko, sorry. Himitsu walked alongside me smiling. I occasionally glanced over her trying to figure out what was on her mind. Uh, why glancing over her is going to figure out what's on her mind, I don't know. Not that I was particularly interested. Not more likely, I was just trying to distract myself from my own thoughts because they're stupid. And I don't know why, but we are. The image of falling cherry petals kept surfacing my mind, dragging up painful memories. Then stop thinking about them. Think about that weird sign over there. I don't know. As for Himitsu, she never, she never broached the subject. She was keen to avoid reopening the wound, or, she, or was she just showing tact? Hey, Artaniko kun, do you copy? Huh? What? Literally, me. Any time anyone says anything to me, I had clearly been daydreaming. We're almost here, and you're still sleeping. He meets you scowled. As always, her displeasure looked more comical than imitate. Imita uh, I can't speak. I'm sorry. I'm not sleeping. I'm solving the world's mis problems in my head. Totally, definitely. I wasn't thinking about cherry blossoms because they um, they they're my mortal enemy. That's it. Oh yeah, what sort of problem? She laughed. The political sort? Not even. Geopo- Ge I don't know. <sighs> I cannot speak. You see? Who else will solve them if not yours truly? Totally. Your grades are a little underwhelming for, fut uh, for a future politician. Well, that's rude. Uh, that's not important. There have been plenty of great people who didn't get the best grades in school, like Einstein, for instance. I see. Himitsu smirked. Okay. We're at school. What? That was weird. What, what's this music? Okay, I don't know. Why do I keep saying I don't know? Because I don't know. We would have probably kept chit chatting like this if it weren't for a, s a scuffle happening at that at that moment at the s school gate. Several people had surrounded a girl from a distance. We couldn't see who it was. Who it was? Look," said he, meets you quietly, slowing down. I started listening. Oh, she's cute. She probably wears the same skirt all year. That's rude. It must be a hand-me-down from her older sister. How does a bum like her even get admitted to our school? That's not half. That's not a halfway house. Go work at the fish market. That's rude. Careful now, you might catch something from her. It's not like I was going to, you know. Okay. On something, blah 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 blah. blah. That's okay. Poor thing. Then go help her. He needs to go. 
Shoo, go get get away from me and go. Oh, that's what we look like. What? Is that us? Wow, okay. He needs to pause for a second. Okay. Isn't she isn't she in your class? I look more closely. I look more uh, no. She did look familiar. I think so. Are you saying you don't even know who your classmates are? Of course I do. That's Nakahita. Iwamura. Iwamura. I fix my hair and look triumphantly at Himitsu. I'm the coolest person. I'm, I'm, a, I'm the coolest person around. She was not impressed, obviously. In fact, she's our class president. So go help her, Himitsu. Himitsu was still looking at me reproachfully. Well, what? I've never smoke it, sp spoken much to her. And anyway, we've only been together in the same class since the start of the school year, and it's only been six months. Meanwhile, the scuffle, if one could call it that, was picking up steam. The girl remained stubbornly silent, only dropping her head lower with every minute. This only encouraged the bullies further. Come on! Who would pay money for someone like her? So don't, except, except maybe a couple hundred yen. The speaker made a show of opening his wallet stuffed with bills, pulling out a handful and waving them in front of Uamuda. That's really getting out of hand, I muttered under my breath. However, other students walking past pretended not to notice anything. These dang traditions again. It, this isn't right. Nico-kun, don't. Let's just tell a teacher. He needs to tug lightly at my sleeve. And what is the teacher going to do? Scold them? My, my, aren't you ashamed of yourselves? I was starting to get worked up. If I had to think about it, what business of mine was this? A fellow classmate? So what? I had exchanged more than a couple words with her before this day. On the other hand, it was hard to watch the one poor girl getting getting hounded by an entire pack. Then go help her! Yeah, I'm going to help her. Why should I stay on the sidelines? What if this was what if this were Himitsu in her place? After all, you were also far from the richest kids at school. Sorry. Himitsu only smiled slightly in response. Okay. This. Hey! I yelled and headed confidently in their direction. Leave her alone. At first, they just looked at me in surprise. Uamuda, on the other hand, kept staring at the ground and did not react at all. Oh, what? Oh, okay, they look very, um... Weird. Uh, who's talking? Is it that weird dude with the Mondo hair? The weird... What's... I don't know. Or is it that weird girl that... I don't know. Looks like she's, I don't know. And who would you be? What business was, what business of yours is it? Keep walking. Their tone was challenging, but this only boosted my confidence. Four against one. Don't you think that's a bit unfair? You want some too, is that it? No, I don't want your bullying. I just want to stop your bullying. The two guys from the group step forward cracking their knuckles for emphasis okay that's cool not it seemed it would seem that they could do more than just talk trash and what's the hero gonna do now i don't know uh um click the next button if it'll work one of their, one of them smirked. Is it that dude? Cause he is, looks like he's smirking. I guess. I don't know. One of them smirked. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. What?
Tell the truth, I didn't know either. I've been compelled to stand up for Uamuna for some time, for some kind of inflamed sense of justice, no more. Because here, you weren't supposed to act this way, and there, you were supposed to act, supposed to help your neighbor. But real life isn't manga or an anime, or in real life, I had no superpowers. You're about to find out. Oh, this is bad. I shouldn't have put this. I shouldn't have put this. Now I'm going to get, like, suspended or something. I went up really close to one of them and froze. <laughs> great, 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 great job, Nico. Wow. But the guy staggered back, clearly rattled. Wow. You just standing there. <laughs> Made them scared. What the heck? Who do you think you are? I don't know. I'm just standing right next to you. That's all because, um, I don't know why. The same instant, the guy rushed up to me, clearly intending to shove me in the chest. So, my reflex kicked in before I could think. The way cut punched him in the face. I swung my arm. Uh, that dude just like, that wasn't supposed to happen. Crack. Came the sound of the silenced jaw. Oh, you just cracked his jaw. That's, oh no. The world around me seemed to freeze. Okay, I shouldn't have done this. This was a bad idea. Wait, where's that girl and the other dude? Uamuda and the other girls and even the guy I had just punched were all staring at me, seemingly transfixed with surprise. But this only lasted an in instant. Uh-oh. This was a bad idea. I shouldn't have pushed that. I shouldn't have interfered. I, I, I know I make terrible choices. You, do you have any idea who my father is? One of the, oh, one of the girls. You, do you know how, any idea who my, my father is? One of the girls was shouting. Don't yell, just go. He's some kind of psycho. <laughs> Says the one who literally is a psycho. The second guy helped his blood pal off the, from the ground. This isn't over. Remember you. These words, they quickly headed away from the school. Well, at least they left Uamuno um, alone. At least we got something from that. <laughs> Himitsu rushed over to me the same instant. Nikokun, are you alright? Yeah, of course. I replied calmly while examining my slightly swollen wrist. Surprisingly, I wasn't shaking with adrenaline, as might have been expected. Everything must have happened so too sudden. U Uamuda, senpai? <laughs> all the commotion, I had forgotten all about the chief culprit of this curfew. Oh, she's cute. Oh, hi. I'm sorry I punched those, that guy in the face, but, you know, I wanted to save you, so. She stood silently, peering sullenly at us from under her brows. Are you alright? Fighting is prohibited on the school grounds. She said quietly, What? A foolish smile spread across my face. I looked over at Himitsu. She just looked as confused as I was. I'm saying that there was no call for getting, for getting into a fight. In case you haven't noticed, I was kind of defending you. They would have left in the end. Oh, it's Iwa. Iwamuda. Not Uamuda. Wait, what? Anyway. Went silent for a second. Then looked up at me. Her eyes flashed, but just as quickly as her indifference demeanor turned. They always leave. Regardless, you could at least say thank you. It's just common courtesy. I was even more upset now than a minute earlier. And not only here, but the whole wide world. Iwamura merely raised her chin, snorted, and quickly made her way towards the school gate. That's just unreal. I told you not to get involved! Himitsu said quietly. But you did act like a real hero! Some hero, uh-huh. 
Where have you seen heroes like that in the movies? The heroes get thanked for the rescue. But you didn't do it for the sake of gratitude, did you? He meets to he meets to kept smiling, which made me flustered. We'll see what sort of gratitude awaits me from the teachers. Really, I grumbled. Maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> Oops. Come on, let's go. Another school day had now begun. Well, you guys, that's it. That's it for this video. Sorry about that. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.